Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is John. This is the Oaky Smoking Channel where we do all our cooking outside. But today we're going to do something a little different. I've got some drum sticks. I've got my propane out and I'm going to pour some grease in here. And we're going to go ahead and fry uh, some drumsticks outside on this cold 40 degree day. And uh, I got 16 of them. And what I'm going to do here is I've got about one and a half cups of buttermilk right here. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And Tabasco sauce. We're going to go ahead and take these drumsticks out and place them in a bowl. And we're going to put all these ingredients together. I'm just going to place these all in this bowl right here. Now, I didn't get any thighs, but thighs would be good. Mix some thighs in here with it. Today, it's just about the drumsticks. So I've got all them drumsticks really, really nice. So I'm gonna start off with the buttermilk. I'll have the proportions of all these ingredients in the description below as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper in there. and then just stir that in. I wanna say that's about a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of pepper and about one and a half cups of buttermilk. Got the Tabasco. And I'm just gonna take it and add some drops. Just kinda of add some in there, probably about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half, but I'm not going to measure it. Now I'm just going to take this mixture and we're just going to pour it right over all these drumsticks. Thighs, if you have in here, is fine too. Really any kind of chicken. Just want to kind of put that all over that real nice. Then you can go ahead and massage it in there a little bit if you want. Try to get them pressed in there. Then what I'm going to do is just place this in the refrigerator, uh, let it uh, marinate for a solid hour while I go ahead and get my grease ready outdoors, get it preheated, and then they'll be ready to cook. Now, if you really plan this out and you want to go ahead and make this up the night before, you can leave it in the fridge overnight and really penetrate that chicken even better. In this case, it's going to be just about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and get the grease prepped and then uh, we're going to bread these in flour and then we're going to go ahead and cook these drumsticks. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. I, I just love grabbing a drumstick and having a good fried drumstick. So let's get this grease ready. Let's put these in the fridge. So all we're going to be using today is just some pure clear frying oil, a little members mark from Sam's Club. Pick this up. That's what I'll fry turkeys in and various things. Also went ahead and downsized the pan to a little smaller one because I don't think I needed that big one. That big one would have been big enough for a turkey or something else. But I think in this situation, we'll just fill this up with some grease, uh, put them in. If we can't get them all into a couple batches, we'll see how that goes. So we're going to go ahead and get this grease lit and uh, or poured in and then uh, fire going. That should be more than enough. If we can't get them all in on the first try, we'll just do a couple of batches. We're gonna get this up to about 350 degrees, so let me go ahead and get this lit. Okay, we got it lit, and we got a temperature set right here, and uh, we're gonna let it get up to about 350 degrees. It'll be time to start breading and uh, cooking that chicken. Okay, we are back now to go ahead and start frying these chickens. All I did was took about two cups of flour, uh, mix that with about a teaspoon. Now, you might want to use cayenne pepper. I couldn't find any, and I like habanero. So I used some habanero pepper and put in there. 
and then about uh, a tablespoon of black pepper. All that info I'll put in the ingredients, uh, in the uh, description, in the ingredients section of that in this video. But what you wind up with is just some beautiful breaded drumsticks. And if you have some way to elevate it when you bread it, like this here off the pan, bread it and just kind of let it set for just a little bit to, to dry in there. That's a nice way to do it, try to separate them a little bit. I did marinate these for probably closer to 90 minutes and then went ahead and breaded them. And now we've got this grease. We've got it at, uh, whoa, we got it pretty hot. We got it at 425. We want to turn this down. That's fine because when we put these in, it's going to automatically cool the, the grease down anyway. And of course, this is one of them recipes that you don't need to be out here. You could do all this on your cooktop stove if, you, if you'd if you like. I'm going to turn this heat down a little more. But like I said, you can do all this on your cooktop stop, stove if you like. But I'm just the type of person that just likes to cook outside. So that's what we're going to do. I actually went ahead and turned off the propane while I insert these chicken here uh, because the temperature was getting so hot that it'll cool it down and then I will turn it back on here in just a moment. That's also a great way if you ever cook outside, if you're putting a turkey or something big in, kill the fire and you can always relight it. This is when the grease can start boiling quite intensively anyway. Now I don't want to overcrowd this, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that and we'll make a couple of batches here. And it's still cooking at really 450 degrees and I don't even have the fire turned on right now. I just went ahead and relit, relit this uh, grease with a flame underneath. And about the first four or five minutes, I didn't have the flame on at all. It stayed above 350 degrees that entire time. So it's a good thing whenever you cook with this, if it just starts to go out of control, just kill it. You don't want it to catch fire. And uh, this has a burn point of about 450 of the grease I'm using. So just kill it, let it cool down, and then uh, relight it when you need to. So I've checked and the temperature's above 165 on all these, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use this little mesh so that the grease will drain out and then I'll put it under a plate or bowl. Look at that. Nice and golden brown. Come on now, look at that. Beautiful. Another one. They're, they're all coming out great. They look great. We'll be able to tell if they taste great here in a minute. Let that batch cool off. Well, I'll go ahead and put this next group in. I think I said I had 16 of them. I think I actually had 14. That looks like seven. I believe we got eight going here. We'll get all these in now. This first batch cooked in about 12 minutes. Probably we're done a little sooner. Got the fire going again, approaching 400. Went ahead and killed it a second time to let this batch cook. I'll turn it back on in a minute. The main thing when you cook outside under this hot fire is just make sure you keep that fire in check. The last thing you want to do is catch this or anything else on fire. So just be very uh, 
conscious about that, you should be fine. So while this cooks, I'm going to go ahead and test some of this other out. So just take a look at that. Forget about going to your local chicken restaurant. Bread it yourself, soak it in some buttermilk, a little bit of Tabasco sauce. Oh, it came out amazing. Uh, this is really, really good. So if there is something that you want to see me cook in the grease, in the boiling water of this thing, be sure to put it in the comments below. And if you try this particular uh, recipe or one similar to it, uh, let me know what you think. Is your going to the chicken to go place over. I know mine is. This is really good. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.